Hey, hello, 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 hello. So I was reading an email that I wrote and I sent to my subscribers list and um, I was detailing this 21 day spiritual journey that I go on. And um, oh, I didn't even introduce myself. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Empress. And um, so I was detailing my spiritual journey. I have this 21 day spiritual journey that I go on. I've been doing since 2017 where for 21 days I get up during the hours of four and six and I meditate, I journal, and I fast. And um, it's very disciplined, <laughs> it's very regimented. And it's very, very empowering and it always helps me reach a new level of self-love and uh, a new a new new level of ascension and evolution within myself so i was sharing um last year's testimony um because so i have i'm always writing and shit right always journaling so i got like a digital journal of what i call j gems and um they're pretty much my journal entries you know that are actually from the handwritten journal or, you know, random notes and shit that, you know, I hurried up and, and, and did on my phone because it's, it's accessible. So, you know, I share them to my subscribers list. So again, let me pause and reintroduce myself. So I'm Jay Empress. I am, you know, a poet and um, po most people know me for my erotic poetry and my storytelling. And so, you know, follow me. <laughs> follow me, sign up for my list. And, you know, I send all kinds of very real, raw, candid um, testimonies of like what I've gone through to help you in your journey to loving yourself better, to being more confident. So I was um, sharing all of that on the list and I was rereading it today and it it really hit me. It was just like, oh, the power, the energy of the words, the intensity. I'm like, yo, I got to do a video. I got to share this. So I, you know, I'm showing up in the, the real raw, rawest form, um, being real is sexy. And I'm also like the central sexy, you know, sister. So all about being your full self. This is my full self. So I'm naked. <laughs> Um, I have my hair, you know, wrapped up because, you know, this is, this is how I'm living right now. I didn't feel like putting on clothes. I haven't even showered. So, um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give this video a real wrap bra and um, leave you with a nice little J gem. So this would be the culmination of the 21 day journey. Um, this is what I wrote last year on this day. 21 July. I have everything I need and the universe always blesses me. I have what I need now and I will have what I need in the future. This was a very successful fast. It helped me to consistently prioritize myself and my well-being. The intentional stillness taught me so much about preparation and being open to receive. All of the wisdom and clarity I gained during this time, the renewed motivation and creative burst were incredible. I will continue to honor my body's needs, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I will continue to drink water. <laughs> on a consistent basis. I will rest, I will rest, I will rest. I will ensure I maintain a healthy work slash leisure balance where fun and play will always be top priorities. I will continue to hold space for and honor my full self. I will continue to prosper, dream, manifest, and live life to the fullest. Ah. 
So that was the journal entry, and this was my reflection of the journal entry. Wow, I am just so in awe of myself right now. Like, damn. I'm proud to say that I've done a very good, great job of honoring the intentions I set out in the I will statements. There are, there are some areas that could use some deeper self-study and require more healing, but for the most part, I'm taking great care of me. Thank you. But that first part, I have everything I need and the universe always blesses me. I have what I need now and I will have what I need in the future. I needed this reminder. I always need this reminder. Oh my gosh. It's about to become my new affirmation mantra. I need to say this slash write this as many times as it takes until I believe it in the very fiber of my being and the intuitive essence of my soul. I have everything I need. And the universe always, always blesses me. I have what I need now, and I will have what I need in the future. <sighs> so simple, and yet I still struggle with this. How about you? I think we all struggle with this, right? Actually, let me rephrase that. I still find it challenging to unapologetically affirm my abundance by I am actively working to overcome this challenge. The mental shift from lack to abundance is an ongoing journey that I'm winning just by choosing to stay committed. Just by being on this journey, I'm winning, <laughs> okay? Some days it is hard to believe in my abundance when the physical reality still reflects evidence of my past struggle stories, or I should say still seems to reflect evidence because it's all about perception you know what i'm saying and we get to choose our perceptions it'd be so damn tempting to succumb to those stories too i know them so damn well but nah i rebuke that shit i rebuke struggle i rebuke lack i rebuke anything less than the very best because that's what i desire demand and fucking deserve how about you does any of this resonate what struggle stories are you rebuking what do you want your new self story to be oh my gosh <laughs> so i'm i'm like i'm writing reflections you know on my reflections and i'm i i share them with my list so this is the type of content that you'll receive when you come to my community my community of you know empowered folks so people that are looking for empowerment um people that are interested in the arts people that are all about black love and black love includes self-love okay um that's what i'm all about so when you join my community this is the type of content that you receive um and like uh i just wanted to share that because i like i, I have chills <laughs> i have chills right now um and i'm just like man it's really all about what you believe it's, it's really all about what you choose to believe and the power of choice. We cannot underestimate <laughs> the power of choice because, like I said, we can choose our reality. You know what I'm saying? And that's such a hard concept, you know, because, like, life does what it does. And we encounter so many things every day, all day. And a lot of the things that we encounter challenge, you know what I mean, the the visions and stuff that we have that we that may not yet physically be in our reality. So it's like, how am I going to believe in believe in something that is not yet here? It's not yet visible. And we have this thing where it's like visibility means that it's real. You know what I'm saying? And like we kind of go over faith and shit like that and it's like i think back to the, the the there's a little quote or some or a meme or something like that about how the best things in life you you can't see them you feel like that's with faith <laughs> you know what i'm saying like 
we really have the power to create what the fuck we want to create, how we want to create it, when we want to create it. We just have to remember that. We just have to remember that. And that shit is so fucking hard. <laughs> that shit is so hard. So, like, that was on my heart and that was on my spirit. And that really, like, hit me in a way. So I was like, you know what? Let me share this. Because, you know, I'm all about sharing the love, sharing the vibe. So I'm like, let me share this vibe. Let me share this energy. And, um, yeah. So, again, I'm Jay Empress, and if you resonate with what you heard, come, 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 you know, come into my world a little bit more. Come into my community, and I have a book. I have a book that I just put out, my very first book of poetry and journal entries and, you know, more continued real rawness about my story and how I have um, taken taken (laughs) very um deliberate steps to have a deeper love with myself and how that has really transformed my life and I'm not yet where I would like to be but I'm so enamored with my life right now you know because of the work that I have done and I want to share that with you so come into my world come join my tribe the link will be in the video thank you at the bottom of the video thank you for watching